messages. Welcome to my reality TV show. This is supposed to be funny, so please don't judge. Anyway, have fun. Namaste. Hi, I'm Oxygen. Um, now, before we start this reality TV show, let me share some basic facts about myself. Um, I have, I am the atomic number of eight, and I have eight protons in the nucleus. I am an odorless, colorless gas with me being a pale blue at my liquid and solid state. Anywho, let's get to it. What are you guys up to? Nothing much. Nothing much. Did you know that dry air is 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, and 1% other gases? Yes, oxygen, okay. Anywho, what did you guys do this weekend? Well, I went to the rink Saturday and Sunday morning and practiced all of my programs for my competition coming up in March. I did you know that oxygen is unstable in our planet's atmosphere and must be constantly replenished by photosynthesis in green plants? Without life, our atmosphere would contain almost no oxygen. Do not interrupt me. Anywho, what were you saying, Karen? Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry. So, anywho, um, this weekend I was in Trader Joe's looking for toilet paper and I couldn't find the, the toilet paper and like I spent two hours looking for toilet paper and um, like I started hyperventilating and then oxygen came to me with words of wisdom. You know, there is a common urban myth that hyperventilation, hyperventilation is caused by breathing in too much oxygen. You can never breathe in too much of me, wink. Yeah, and then when oxygen whispered that in my ear, I got so relaxed and I wasn't worried about hyperventilation anymore. And then I realized that toilet paper was on aisle two, so I ran to aisle two. Wow, that's an amazing story. Yeah, I never thought oxygen would calm you down like that. That's very weird. Hey guys, do you want to know what I learned about oxygen today in school? Sure. Sure. Okay, um, I wrote it down on a piece of paper if you guys don't mind, so I'll be reading off of here. Okay, Joseph Priestley is traditionally credited with discovering oxygen in 1774, but Carl Wilhelm Scheele possibly discovered oxygen the year before, but his work was not published until after Joseph's. Oxygen is made in stars, which have a mass of five or more Earth suns when they burn helium and carbon. Oxygen is part of the ash formed by these nuclear fires. Wow, nice facts, dude. Keep going. Yeah, thanks. Um, I have more. So, mainly the aurora borealis, aka the northern lights, interests me. The air is made up of nitrogen and oxygen atoms, with oxygen being a bigger component at the altitudes the auroras happen. Oxygen atoms emit green and sometimes red light, while nitrogen is more orange or red. The light you see from the aurora's protons are released by oxygen and nitrogen in the upper atmosphere. Energetic particles from the solar wind strike the layer of the atmosphere called the ionosphere, ionizing the atoms and molecules. When the ions return to the ground state, energy is released as light produces the aurora. Oh my god. 
Anywho, dinner time! So, how was your Monday, guys? It was good. How about you, Karen? Mm, yeah, my Monday was good. My Monday was just the way it should be. Perfecto! I hope you all have enjoyed this reality TV show as much as I did. And I hope you all cringed as much as I did. Anywho, say hi. Bye bye. Hi. Hi. <laughs> the air is made up of nitrogen and oxygen atoms with oxygen.